Hi everyone, in this episode we're going to show you how easy it is to add a friendly match into the Football Assist system. Uh, just remember when we put this into the system, it is all, you'll cover the web channel, so it'll be available there, but also on the mobile app and then on the web TV, all those matches and the schedule will be posted there as well. If you're interested in this software, please drop me a line and we can set you up with a trial. Enjoy. We love football. On our website, um, I don't have any games or matches. We're in the preseason, so we've got a friendly match to add. I can just log in by adding CMS to this uh, URL. Then from there, we get a login and a password. I've already uh, pre-selected. I've logged it in already. So um, this is the interface that you'll have. So um, just quickly just go through this. We want to add a friendly match. We do that under our configuration under football, because it has to do with football. And here we go to results and fixtures. And there's the uh, friendly match op option. We go to new, we want to uh, add a new friendly match. And we are confronted with a, the, the form, which that match is on the 17th of the 12th. It's at 7.20 in the afternoon. So that's 19.20. I'll do this quickly. Home team, and you select the home team. Now all these teams are already pre-configured in the system, but it's against uh, Sydney uh, University FC. This is the team, the men first, the against Northbridge men. Here you go, men first, and it's at Arlington Oval. Because I've selected Sydney University, it's already there. But just to check, yeah, it's Arlington over Oval, and um, that's a save. Now I've saved that. I'll save this as well because uh, I want to show the match on the website. If I go back to the website, that's over here. I do not have this match on the website basically because I haven't initiated uh, any of these widgets. So let me just show you how to do that. We go to configuration. That's under basic settings. And under basic settings, you can actually configure the widget. I'll click on configure widget. Here I've got my widget layout. So this is my match report, my latest results, etc. And what I want to do is uh, find the next game. So that's this widget. I want to put it on the website. I don't want to put it here. I want to put it on the top because it's the first friendly match that they're playing. So let me just move this up. Uh, right here, I will name it uh, next friendly game. And I will set to a setting. I want to select that team, which is a Northbridge First team, I want to save that and save that. And that's now all saved. So if I go back to the home page, I need to do a refresh because, and you will see the next friendly game is right there. Sydney University versus Northbridge. It's got the logos up there. And if I click on this, I will go to uh, the fixture and basically see what's happening. It's so on Thursday, the 17th of December, the venue, where it is. I can get directions to this venue by typing in my address and my city and show that with uh, with Google. And also I've got um, the last uh, matches from our away team. So Northbridge is the away team. So the last matches that I played and the opponent, because it's uh, they haven't played any games yet in this competition or in the competition, um, I don't get that, but normally that will be, uh, will be populated automatically. Who are we playing against? And there's some information about the opponent. So all very good information and quite easy to do. This took me uh, less than two minutes just to add a friendly game.